Well, Chavez, Slovakia, it is hot as hell out here in Vegas right now. My goddamn AC broke again. Last time they put a whole new fucking unit in, and that shit is broke, son. It's broke. That's how hot it is. And because I am hot and annoyed, I decided to watch something soothing. People churn ice cream for an hour. <laughs> How weird would it be if that was the video we watched? People just churning ice cream over and over again. Now we're watching Bill Nye! Bill Nye answers science questions from Twitter. Now I don't know if this video is a troll, if he's just like making fun of people on Twitter. I don't know if this is a roast moment or if he's giving genuine advice. Uh, I will defer for BDOT on that. BDOT, how you doing, man? <laughs> it's like 84 in here right now with the fan on. Shit is hot as fuck, bro. So, we're gonna check this out, man. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure you guys are idiots, so this should be fun to watch. But let's check it out. I've never seen one of these, so let's do it. Greetings, greetings. Bill Nye here. Today, we're gonna do some science support. I can't tell, I can't tell if this is Our enough. first question comes from Destiny Dolan. No, serious question. What makes people think global warming isn't a real thing? Like, it's February and it's 70 degrees outside. Upside down smiley emoji. So I'm thinking emoji. now uh, that it's cognitive dissonance. This is a real effect where people have a certain True. worldview. They're confronted with evidence ah, it's which very conflicts serious. with the worldview. Yeah. So they have dissonance, conflict in their yep. minds. What's generally done, instead of changing your worldview, which you may have held your entire life, you dismiss the evidence, and along with that, you dismiss the authorities that may have provided the evidence. Yep. So Bird when, TV when he, asks just if we to can... simplify that even more, because that wouldn't make any sense if you don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's saying that a smart person tells them something, and they say, you're not smart. What I think is right. <laughs> Basically. Me and B-Dot deal with this when playing League of Legends all the goddamn all time. All the time. Why are you building rapid fire cannon on Master Yi? I don't understand. Sorry. It's, it's a big thing. I just don't fucking get it. But hey, man, by the way, that's not an item for that champion. And they go, but it is, Chavez. Why don't you like me? I hate all of you. All right, we're going to continue with this. <laughs> <laughs> can clone extinct species, should we? I think it'd be cool. What we're all talking about is like a woolly mammoth. Hi, Steve. Hi, Bill. <laughs> it's my woolly, woolly mammoth impression. This one would be named Steve. Anyways, I think it'd be cool, body. but it's not up that to was... me. Carry on. God damn it, Bill. Do you know really how fast. long Earth has existed? This is from Isa Nissan. And I would say, yeah, Isa... uh, 4.6 billion. Isa Nissan. <laughs> Hey, what's that? Is a Nissan. That's a good name. Yes. Rocky Online. I have a doubt related to evolution theory. If we evolve from monkeys, then why are there still monkeys? We're, we didn't evolve <laughs> from monkeys. That's brilliant. But whatever. You're the first guy to ever wonder this. We did not descend from monkeys. Yeah. Monkeys and we have a common ancestor. So you may have seen this picture, this famous arrangement. This isn't really accurate. Uh, it I was, was about to say, surprise, surprise, a fucking picture isn't the whole story. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Do people still think that, b -Dot? I feel like a monkey sometimes, so I believe it. <laughs> We're not talking about all you boosted monkeys, all right? We're talking about do people really think that humans evolved from monkeys? Like, is that a thing? I think so. God damn it, b -Dot. God damn it. It's water fast as fucking with your brain, man. I may or may not have thought that. <laughs> I can't confirm. Wait, you think that we came from monkeys? May or may not Wait, have thought did that. did you graduate high school? What, what the? My mom's a science teacher, Are Chavez. you fucking serious right now? Listen, all right? So the, so the silence wasn't you being unsure. The silence was shame. Yeah, it was more like... I thought the picture was accurate. I had no idea. Oh my god, that's so bad. Man, the world is so dull. Sorry, b uh, but I now know not to have this conversation with my mom now. Do not. I'll rewind this a little bit. I'll let this play all the way through. And then somebody go fucking ask Google. For Christ's sakes. Why do you fuck... Never mind. A common Never ancestor. Mind. So you may have seen this picture. Yeah. This famous arrangement. Yeah. This isn't really accurate. It wasn't just one to the other to the other. Uh, as we say, the the family tree of hominids, like you and me, and even my old boss, 
is not just a straight line of one organism leading to another. It's a bush, as we say. So there's many, many branches, and you and I ended up on one of them. And so we did not descend from monkeys. Monkeys and us have a common ancestor, and you can prove... Please just Google it in more detail if you really think we come from monkeys. There is a lot of what I would like to call reasons why. And I let's just, just trust it, okay? Just fucking trust it and go look it up. I promise if you can read, your mind will be blown. Be that? Googling it now. Thank you. Prove it. Uh, Anthony uh, Arjun, 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 asks uh, what makes a planet a planet? You gotta have enough gravity to be a ball, and right now you gotta have enough influence to clear out your orbit from other stuff, other debris. Stand with Rand writes, can alternative energy effectively replace fossil fuels? Absolutely yes. Oh, okay. Burning coal is the worst thing we can be doing. So I encourage you uh, to check out the solutionsproject.org. They have done an analysis I want to scale to of my not only the United States' electricity needs, but 130 other countries around the world. And we could power the whole place right now if we just decided to do it with wind, solar energy, some tidal energy, some geothermal energy. We could run the whole place. Wouldn't shut down existing nuclear plants. But then but it's really hard to build a new nuclear legends. plant because nobody wants them around. Running two asks a double rainbow I saw a couple months ago. What causes double rainbow opposed to a normal rainbow? Well, one could make an argument. He's got pictures here, or she. In a sense, there's always a double rainbow. It's just the second one is much fainter. <laughs> it doesn't it's not as bright. So the background has to be the sky has to be dark enough for you to see it yep. generally. <laughs> Our camp asks, why is the sky gl bl blue? Why can't... Yeah. Why does he have that circle thing on his on his desk? Isn't the earth flat? What circle thing? That blue circle thing. Wait, you're talking about the globe. Isn't the earth you're flat, though? me why the globe is round. Isn't it, like, because pancake you're saying, flat? You're saying... Okay, well, I'm, going to, I'm sneaking up on the camera here. Hold on. Because you <laughs> think it's flat. That's what you're telling me? You, like a pancake, right? Did you think it's like a pancake? You know, uh, the the monkey thing surprised me enough. Uh, uh, okay, no, I, it was more of a joke. <laughs> Space isn't real. Huh? Now wait a minute. Do you know why the sky is blue, B dot? Um, I love to put you on the spot here. I love this. Do you know why the sky is blue? Light refracting off of. I, I did know it when okay, I was in like the eighth grade. Something about refraction of something. You're getting there. Something with the water, I think. Refra white refract. I don't okay, know. Is Token know. Black still online? Is. Let me see if Token Black's online. One second. Hey, Token. All right, so I brought Token Black in. He is the ask me questions role on my Discord. <laughs> People literally ask him questions. That's just what they do all day long. So, Token, I have a question for you, my man. Shoot. Why is the sky blue? I'm not the only one. Well... First, don't Google it. Just answer the question. I, I didn't Google. I, I don't Google open. Ooh. Chavez asked me to ask a question. Let's go. All the right. sky is blue because of the water droplets in the sky. I ought to fucking shoot somebody. I believe that. Thank you. That makes sense. You mother. I so everybody, so everyone excited. watching this video, water fountains in the sky. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I will. <laughs> I'll have to talk to you after I'm done. Jesus My feelings. <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> he literally is the ask questions role of my Discord. And he says because there are water droplets in the sky. But you know what? That's also why he is that guy. Because that was funny. All right. I'll see you in a minute, man. <laughs> damn Got it. it. God damn it. Oh. Can it be green? Careful what you wish for. Air molecules are spaced in such a way that when waves of light pass between them, they are scattered. As we increase the greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, people have speculated that the scattering will change. I was getting ready to say, don't you fucking tell these people because of global warming the sky might be green someday, because I've heard that before, but there is very limited evidence to support that that is what the relation between the sun and the ozone and the earth is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
That is so much fucking speculation. There's no way. But, sorry. Whatever. The molecules that are doing the scattering will be so abundant that the sky will no longer be blue. It's not good. Carry on, our camp. Backseat drawing. Magnets. How do they work? Oh, that's They're problem. magic. No. <laughs> what happens in certain materials, the strongest one and the most common one, the one we all know and love, is iron. And these are steel, and steel is almost entirely iron, just a little bit of carbon. There's what they call a virtual current, where the, elect the electrons are moving from atom to atom. And this produces this magnetic field. And this tendency is so strong that magnets stay magnetic for centuries. Mint Chalk Lit Chip asks, what is the fourth dimension? Is it smell? Ha! The fourth dimension is time. You fucking idiot. This is not rocket surgery. <laughs> Fourth dimension is time. Rocket surgery. Y Z time. Oh my Will God. Pound Cake asks, can artificial intelligence take over the Earth? Yes. Yes. He just said yes. What do you think? No, I, people make artificial intelligence. Are we going to make a machine that produces electricity in a way that we can't control that takes over for us? Really? Who's going to build that machine? How long do you generally... I love it. I love it because these are like real questions that I could see people having that have real answers, and he is answering them like I answer those questions. <laughs> he basically said, you know that movie with Will Smith, I, Robot? Can't happen. Can come true? Just... Why would we make that come true? Why would we do that to ourselves? There's always going to be an off switch, people. It's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, well, then the AI would close off the off switch, and then we would never be able to. Then we'd nuke it. We'd nuke the fuck out of it, and then we'd move on. We're not going to be taken down by toasters, people. Calm down. So you mean, you mean we wouldn't mass produce millions of something without making sure every flaw was not there anymore? It's not going to happen, man. We're not going to do that. I believe the human race has existed on Earth. About 100,000 years. Thanks. Uh, Jerry Buck, what is dark That's matter? Fun. It's not clear, hey, wait, but... wait, is that a picture it, of a girl's butt on that? That was a picture of a girl's butt. I don't believe the human race has existed on Earth. About 100,000 years. Wait, where's the butt at? Give me the Next butt. Uh, there, Jerry, we there we go. Thank you, Gary Buck. You're a real American. Gary Buck, what is dark matter? It's not clear, but it has apparently an influence like gravity, and there's more of it than there is regular matter that you and I are familiar with. Jared, your person. People say that cell phones, Who the I think it might that? give off radiation to the brain. Turns out people get brain tumors all the time. People talk on cell phone way, way more of the time. They have done studies trying to connect cell phones and brain tumors. There is no say, connection. I don't, I was Carry on. Farah Damji, how safe is acupuncture? Uh, I know people believe in acupuncture. There's no value to it. But if you think it works and it makes you feel better, carry but it on. it looks cool. Uh, will like horseradish and rib as you leak through you when you, after you get acupuncture? I don't know. Run a test. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Brianna, Ray, they say avocados are good fat, but how much avocado can you eat before it becomes bad fat? You can eat a million avocados. What do you think? For crying out loud, there's calories in avocados. Just there's also... Some unsaturated fat. Uh, avocados are great. I recommend an avocado with a poached egg. That is, that's living. Vates, I wonder what the world would be like after a nuclear war. It would suck. Okay? I was in class when Professor Carl Sagan talked about this idea of nuclear winter, where you'd set off so many yeah. nuclear yeah, weapons so crazy. rapidly that all the debris thrown in the sky would make the earth cold. Yep. And this was dismissed for a while until... Uh, Walter and Luis Alvarez found an impact crater off Chicxulub, Mexico that was almost certainly where this asteroid hit yep. that killed the ancient dinosaurs in the same way by throwing this cloud of debris. The, the ejecta, the ejected material from that impact... That's a sex joke. That is a sex joke. Confirmed. ...was bigger <laughs> around than the diameter of the Earth. Dr. Chad... No said, huh? So what's <laughs> concluded about GMOs? Are they safe to eat or not? Yes, GMOs are safe to eat. We feed genetically modified food to rats, lab rat, mice, all the time, and they're fine. The problem is that what genetically modified organisms have enabled monocultures, right. these enormous fields of the same type of plant, and that has led to some environmental problems.
Callie, how do people actually believe the Earth is flat? I'm stumped, Callie. I don't know how people believe that. <laughs> we have classroom globes. We have spacecraft that take pictures. You can find documents from medieval times where people knew the world was round. Columbus, Christopher Columbus knew the world was round. He just sold Queen Isabel on the, on the idea that he could get it done really fast, sailing around the world. Derek, why are people willing to pay more for organic food when there's absolutely no evidence that it's any better for you? Uh, perception, it's marketing, man. Because of people like BDOT. BDOT? What is I don't actually believe the Earth is flat. <laughs> Hold on. It was a joke. <laughs> I'm asking about the organic food bit because you're a mailbox. I thought all mailboxes like Starbucks. No, listen though. Once the water fast is over, I'm going to buy one $12 cup of Starbucks coffee and get every woman on Earth. There it's going to work. I don't Good know luck. how, but it will do Good it. Good luck to you. Good luck. That, 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 feel that no that's the point of not eating for 21 days, I thought. Maybe Hell yeah. globally. It's not just a question of whether or not it's good for you. It's a question of whether or not it's good for the ecosystem and good for the agriculture, the sustainability of our Nobody agricultural system. One of these is organic and one of them is uh, genetically I'm going modified. With the left one. Be that? Right one. Do you know which one? Neither do I. But generally, the bigger <laughs> one. No, 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 you can't tell. Carry on. Final question. Hey, Bill, are you free for dinner? Uh, uh, often. <laughs> often. Thanks for your question. Carry on. Often. Thank you all often. for supporting science. We went through your tweets and we had nothing but fun. I'm Bill Nye. See you next time. Wow. I enjoyed that a shit ton. I enjoyed that so much. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bad, I'm not going to lie. Man, I really had fun with that. You know, and it was because he really answered the questions. It didn't try too hard to like be really entertaining, but it makes it really entertaining when you answer, not stupid questions, but like questions you could ask anywhere. I mean, like you could, those are questions that you just go to Google and just type your question and there's a very simple answer for you. So I, I thought they were going to get more in-depth with really difficult stuff, but that was good. I, I, I like that. Beat out, got any thoughts? My mom would not be proud if she somehow saw this video. So you really thought that we came? That is funny. That is Straight from monkeys. Not like even though, like, I thought the, I thought the picture, there's like 12, though. Is that like four? Yeah. Six? Yeah, there was a bunch. I mean, I thought it extended, but I definitely thought it was monkeys. That is great. That is actually great. Well... More things I didn't know that people didn't know. The list keeps growing. I'll see you in the next one, Chavez Slovakia. If you have any science questions, please, please ask them in the comments section. I'm sure a friendly representative of Chavez Slovakia will get back to you with no hate, sarcasm, or, uh, you know, mean-spirited quips about your YouTube profile picture whatsoever. So, uh, with that being said, I'll see you in the next one, Chavez Slovakia. Also, stop adding me as a friend on Discord, you savage motherfuckers. The answer is no. I just wanted to say that. I have 217 friend requests. And I'm going to go through and delete them all. Have a good night. <laughs>